Welcome back, folks. Just having a bit of a smoke here. So, we need to figure out where our power draw is coming from. And I think I have a good idea of what's starting it. It would be this. But I also <laughs> just remembered one thing. We're going to be doing metal work by scrapping stuff down. We might as well read a metalworking book. Right, we uh, have a couple of them here. At least we have the first one. There we go. Let's go ahead and read this real quick, like. I really should have done this before I started recording, but it just escaped my mind until this very moment. So, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to just sit here for about a minute or so, maybe two, while I just madly flip through the pages, memorizing every little bit of this thing, you know? But luckily, we can do this. So, I'm thinking what we'll start by doing is... This floor, and then the floor below us, everything on this, like, upper, like, north side of the building, we will tear down the fridges and stuff like that. Because um, I think that's where our, our problem is coming from. Because uh, if we go over, once again, to our generator, we can kick it on. We, uh, collect it here. So we turn on the generator, and we look at the info. Um, it's going to show us this, which is um, four fridges. Wait, can I... Real quick, I'm going to take a picture of that. There we go. Alright, so... Um, let's go ahead and turn this off. Excellent. Um... One second. Actually, let me go to here, and I can do this and that. Or maybe not. Hmm. Well, one second. Let me uh, hide my screen. I'm going to post the image somewhere else, but looks like I have to open up paint and do it that way. I just don't want you guys to see anything that could potentially be bad on the background there. So, all right, here we go. We're back. So I got a screenshot of that now. So we're looking at four green fridges. We're looking at 64 lights, which aren't too bad. Four red fridges and eight white fridges. And this is a green fridge, which we're not going to worry about. So there's a bunch of other colored fridges and stuff like that out here. So let's get rid of the white ones. Uh, we don't have to worry about anything that we have to, like, turn on specifically. So uh, this one, for example, we can just get rid of it. There we go. Then I can grab the uh, the metal and stuff, which... That. That. There we go. All right, so that was those. I wonder if, like... How do I get rid of the lights? As part of the bath. I'm just not sure. Uh, anyway, then we'll do this one. So that was one white, and this is a red. Still has some stuff in it. Oh, stuff that's actually good. I'll take it then. Okay. We got one white, one red. Um, unusable metal, I'm going to assume is unusable, as it says here. And ignore it. We'll go to the next section. There's another white fridge, which also has stuff in it, because I didn't throw out the rotten goods like I should have. Okay, and again, nothing on the ground. All right, perfect. Moving on, we're going to hit up the next apartment down, and I think that'll be enough for this floor for right now, just to start off. Okay. Assemble red fridge. So that was two red and... What was it again? It was, it was two red and one white so far? Or two of both? I, I forget. I've already forgotten, y'all. I can't be trusted with memorizing stuff. So let's go down. We'll start on this floor now. 
I'm not sure if we're gonna have to go all the way down to like way, way deeper or where, but uh, we'll start with the first two floors first and kind of see how things go from there. <clears throat> I said on the ground. Floor. I'll, I'll go ahead and take the salt and pepper that was here. That's fine. Disassemble the light fridge. There we go. All right. Did it drop anything? Sheet metal. Nice. I'll take that. Um, And then in this, let's go ahead and take... Let's open some chili. We're a little hungry, it looks like, so we should probably eat. All right. Moving on. The one directly underneath us, which is a green fridge with some more rotten stuff in it. Mm, love that rotten stuff, huh? Okay. On to the next one. Now, we could be taking down, like, the stoves and the other stuff at the moment, but I really don't want to waste my uh, propane torch on doing stuff that potentially doesn't even... It doesn't even matter because it's not turned on, right? So... If we were to actually come down here and turn the stuff on, then of course, yeah, it would it would matter. But it does not at the moment, so we won't be doing that. Okay. Grab that stuff. Alright, and then just for good measure, let's go one more floor down. And do these fridges. So I think this is the fourth red fridge we've seen, so this might be the last one. Hey, there we go. Unusable metal though. I should look up how to remove um lights from buildings too. My fridge, there we go. Metal sheet. Excellent. Alright, so that's uh, another white. I think we have maybe one or two more greens, and then the rest should be just white ones. Yeah. Ooh, marmalade and cake batter and stuff. I'll just add that to my inventory right now. Thank you. There's a metal sheet. Right, we have two more to look at, and then we'll have to start tracking down what we think else is there if we cannot find it just from here. Dang, that's a lot of just rotten shit there, huh? All right. We have another metal sheet. Perfect. All right, one more and then we can go. It, it should be by the numbers a woo. The red one, guys. Not white. Okay. Let's head back up to the generator now. And we will take a look and see how exactly our stuff is going. Also, we can store our, our metal sheets and stuff in here. One of these boxes somewhere around, I don't know. Um. I guess we can store it in this one, just, you know, we don't really have, um, a special box for it yet, and these are just seeds, which we're gonna very easily just outpace here, and then for the, uh, other stuff, we can just put that away as necessary, so here we have the electronics, and everything else is food, yeah, okay. I forget to store the food away. Marmalade juice box doesn't need to be refrigerated, which is nice. Okay, that storage box is full then. I just ate hot sauce, just out of the uh, out of the blue there. Okay. 
Alright, whatever. Also, I was curious why this stuff was unequipped, but I was like, oh yeah, why we have a... Uh, yeah, the, the welding mask equipped, so we can't have anything else on. Alright. Turn this bad boy on. And see... So now we have 16 hours, which is double what we had last time. Uh, we still have two green fridges. Um, and all that. I'm gonna take another picture of this. Okay. We have two green fridges. We have more lights. Uh, we have one red and two white fridges. Okay. So obviously, the, the first green fridge is mine. Let's check the other apartments on this floor. What are these? This one is a white fridge. So this could be one of the uh, potential problem children. We'll see. So let's go ahead and just disassemble it. Got some scrap electronic from it, but unfortunately nothing else really usable. All right. Because if there's three other fridges, no, four other fridges, sorry. So that one was a... I already forgot what it was, goddamn. Is it white or red? Ugh, whatever. So this is another green fridge. We can go ahead and try to disassemble this one. Oh, we got an orange soda here, how nice. Another white one, which is... We do have two white ones, so maybe... Oh, we have some scrap metal in the trash, that's nice. A beer. Surprisingly does not need to be refrigerated, which is interesting. Okay. Disassemble the white fridge. Nothing. All right. So with all of that, did we... We did this one, right? Yes, we did. Okay. So with those removed, let's check the generator again. So we can see what we have left. Kind of sucks that I have to turn it on before we can check, right? Okay, so we have... Same thing. Okay, so that's not it. Is it maybe the ones that are on the lower floors, you think? It could be. I'm going to put this stuff away real quick. All right, that's everything there. I'm going to uh, might as well put the metal stuff away for now. Go and boop, boop, and then the electronics, which is here, goes boop. All right, let's rock. Uh, we're bored and stuff though, which is unfortunate. Also agitated and unhappy. You know what? We'll we'll go over here. I'll smoke a cigarette, and then we will. Uh, I like read a magazine or something. try and cure our boredom or whatever we're having issues with right there. That's a little bit better. All right. Let's keep going. So three floors down. So the one where our uh, rope is tied up to. So we have two, three, we have four apartments. So one, two, three, four, maybe? This one's red. Okay. Go ahead and store the stuff that we have. That's not bad. There. I'm going to assume everything inside that plastic bag is just a nasty mold mess. So we're not even going to look at that. All right. Red. Red, 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 red. Create some scrap metal there. Crap, hold on. Right, remember, red. 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 Now we're doing the white fridge. 
What do you mean assaults can be Oh, that's right. Okay. Now then. Red and white has been taken care of. Scrap metal. All right. Red, white, red, white, red, white. Here's our other green, if this is indeed the one that uh, is bad here. Which means we just need one more white fridge. It should be... Oh, here it is. So this should be all of them, if that is in, indeed the uh, the ones that we were having problems with. Okay. Let's turn this bad boy on. Or tear this bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy down. There we go. All right. So now, if we head back up topside, turn our generator on, we should see that it has... Only our fridge and the 64 lights. Just, just to be safe, let's close the door. Okay. Fingers crossed. Well, if I can turn on the generator, that is. There we go, generator info. Still have one red fridge somewhere? Although those three fridges only got like a little bit there. Oh no, I smell this fucking stupid yellow thing around here. There we go, it's gone. Okay. I hate when that happens, when the, the, the yellow outline from Windows screenshot decides that it doesn't like your face and it's like, hmm, I'm gonna just stay around here forever. That in there. Toss that in there. Toss that in there. There we go. Then it's just food, which, I mean, I'm hungry. Might as well eat these pickles rather than transport them somewhere else, right? Okay. Um, I'll eat the crackers too. Why not? And then you know what? Let's have a beer. Rock on. All right. So we'll grab all of this stuff. Throw it into the place here. And then also this empty water bottle now, we can also place into there. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna Google Zomboid how to remove lights. Let's see. Um. looking at this is there any way to remove them for example if i build a place i need lighting i know i could loop table lights but they might not do anything to I need a light switch you can just move those lamps that are hanging outside the houses usually the two or how can i change the way okay um hmm also i still have the generator info on i suppose what we could do Potentially to just turn the generator on and then go around until we find the things that need to be turned off. I mean, we can just like turn all the light switches off. How about we don't have to remove the lights? We can just like keep the lights open? Right? If we, like, for example, um, Let's go turn the generator on quick. If we go, um, excuse me, I wanna turn this on. Okay, so it's on now, right? I come over here. I 
can turn these lights off. Right, and that goes down to 53. I can turn this one off too. Perfect, because we don't need those on, right? And then these lights, I can go ahead and turn them off because I'm not going to be, you know, using them right away. Um, and over in this bedroom, I can... Well, that one's already off. Turn this one off. Go ahead and... light switch doesn't want to work. Turn that off. That off. We really don't need one for the bathroom. Um, I think that's everything here. Yeah, as you can see, the number of lights has gone down. So if we just go into... Oh my god! If we just go into each place that has like a, uh, a light switch. And if it's on, we just turn it off, right? This one, for example. We turn it off while also looking for a uh, red bridge. Slowly but surely, we'll see that we've already increased it to 22 hours of lifetime of our thing here. Oh wait, torch lights, right? It really sucks that these are just like on by default, you know? Okay. And then... Probably the bathroom is off, okay. On to the next apartment. This one is off, I believe. Does this one not even have power? Hmm. This place might. Okay, so there's like a line like right here where uh, the power is at. Remove the light bulb, but I can't turn them on or off, so those are not problems for me. Just that, nope. This one, nope. Okay. Then we'll go across here into the next room. This one's off. That's off. This is off. Turn that off. That off. We have a day of light now. Day and one hour. Each light is an hour? Oh my god. My god. We also gotta be on the lookout for like desk lamps and stuff too. I guess, huh? Uh, this room might. Yep, this one's on. Turn it off. Any lamps or anything that could be, you know, causing lighting problems. This might be out of range. Yep, it's out of range. Okay. Alright, so now we go downstairs. What was that light? Oh, no, okay. Starting here. Can't see the light. There we go. So these middle apartments are like cut in half. They won't uh, be on or anything. Hmm. Great. Oh, so bright. Turn that off. Okay. Right there. It's throwing me off. How about this bathroom? Nope, it's off. Okay. Then we got this huge hall light here, which is probably taking up a couple hours of light. Not. Turn that off. The bathroom looked like it was on. Nope, it was not. Never mind. 
Turn off this one. Off. That one's off. Of this room. It is off. Now the porch lights. so much out of this now. This is such a, a tedious task to do, though. Unfortunate. Are we going to have to do this? I wish I could just like be like, hey, all lights off. Like, remotely. But, unfortunately, can't do it. I didn't even right-click that. And the thing is, once we, uh, you know, have this all off and everything, we can very easily... Okay. I forgot about possibly TVs and stuff. Well, it doesn't say any TVs are running on it, so I think we're fine. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like I was trying to say, we, um... We should end up with very good amount of days left. That one I can't turn off. This one I... Hmm. That one's already off, or I guess I can't turn it on. It must be, like, just past the line, I guess. All right. That one looks like it has light. Turn that off. We're just over here flipping switches and shit. It's kind of funny if you know, think about it. Okay, that one is off. Let me just remove the light bulb from this one. Okay, yeah, that didn't matter. Mm. Okay. The daylight really throws me off because I'm like, wow, it's so fucking like, bright in here and shit. Where's the light at? Right? Off. That's off. This one... This one is on, so we'll turn it off. Oh, We're halfway done, guys. Halfway done with turning these damn lights off. We're still gonna find that, uh... That red fridge, too, which is gonna save us a lot of time. I, I, I forgot. I've, I've not been looking for the fridges, I'm gonna be honest. I've just been like, oh, is there a light on in here? Yes, no. This is probably going to be the most boring, most tedious level, uh, uh, not level, uh, video of everything I've done here. Right? Because I'm literally just turning off light switches. Hear any static from that, so it's probably off. We've gotten up to three days, which is great. We still have a couple floors to go, I think. We gotta find that red fridge, though. You know what? I might as well fill my empty bottle. Give me a little drinky drink. There we go. That's off. This is off. Porch lights. That one's off now, and this one is. I see it, so I can't click it. It'll be off. All right, five days, and we're just burning through fuel as we do this. Remember, so it's not ideal by any means. Wait, that one's on? No way. 
I could barely tell because the sun coming through here. I wonder if I missed a light up there because of that. That one should not allow me to do it, but this one should. Okay. We have 16 lights left. Sounds like it should be right. That one's a little bit off. That one can't be used. I'm remove this fucking light bulb. I don't like these ones. This one's clearly on. Like an illumination that you get from that was light as hell. This is why you don't leave your lights on when you leave home. Because if a zombie apocalypse were to happen, you uh would force whoever takes over your home after you're dead to run around turning off light bulbs to save energy so they can run their generators without problem. Oh, hello there. The problem is, maybe some lights aren't going to be able to be turned off because I, uh, destroyed walls. I, I really can't turn this one off. experience for this. Nah. I'll stay crouched, though. I might have to go downstairs. <clears throat> Where the hell is that last fridge at? This is the first time I've had one of these living room lights on here. These two. Okay. I gained a little bit of experience there. Alright, last room that should... Maybe it's this one. It is. This is the one that was uh, still on. Bam. Easy. Shame we can't use that metal, though. Alright. I do believe this light out here is on. to uh, turn it off. Okay. I didn't, the number didn't seem to go down there. Oh, I think I might have to... or something. Let's change that up. Alright. We have 16 days worth of power here, folks. Because uh, I don't think I can find the last couple uh, lights. I'll kind of look around as we... Oh, it seems like a lot of light's coming from right here, doesn't it? There's no way you're off. Hm. Yes, it was. There must be a lot of zombies down there. Because I my guy is scared shitless whenever I go near that window. Um, let's head back up. We can restart our generator because the red... Oh, the red fridge is gone now. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk back up. 
Maybe we can kind of see if there's anything that looks like as we move around. Any light bouncing around coming up to the uh, front here. All right, cool. So let's say that I actually want my house to be on 24-7 with all like the lighting and everything. Not the bathroom, because that's... Stupid. But like all of this... Oh god, it looked dark behind me. I was like, did, did, the, did the light turn on? Or... So if I want all of this to stay illuminated forever, and this stuff I don't care about because I don't ever go in here. Um, yeah, there was supposed to be a light switch here, but I can't turn on the lights now. All right, anyway, we have uh, about 15 days when we're at 16% fuel. Nice. Okay, let's uh, equip my gear once more. I'm going to go ahead and toss the uh, metal and stuff that we have. Oh, I didn't pick up any. I thought I picked up some scrap metal, didn't I? Hmm. I guess I'm just uh, imagining things then. Well, we're going to take the welder and stuff and put that in there. And then... Uh, what are my stats looking like? Okay, metal working is maxed out now. Uh, in terms of skill book usage, right? Uh, let's see. If I, if I move closer over here, can I like actually? No, I actually have to have the torch and stuff in my inventory. See what I can craft with it. I just wasn't sure. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go back down and try to get the rest of the stuff that's out of the van and the trailer that we had down there. So, anything that I want to learn before we do that? Not really, but what we will do, just in case we get overran by zombies again, let's go ahead and transcribe stuff into the journal. How much metal working do we have here? There. Excellent. All right. Oops. Need to go in here and smoke. There we go. All right. So let's smoke. Eat. Oh, no. I just fucking ran. I wasn't done with that cigarette. All right. Cool. So. Open this canned beef. Corned beef, whatever it is. Eat it. Empty tin can. I don't know if I can use these for anything, but... Might as well just toss it into here for now. And then... You know what? I, we've been doing burpees before. I mean, we're not anymore. But maybe we should focus on increasing clumsiness? That's not a, a stat here, though, right? Also, why would you want to increase clumsiness? Oh, no. Fatigue will be... Yeah, improves fitness. Squats are... Uh, leg movement speed. Burpees kind of do everything. But I think if I if I focus on push-ups, I can get more strength experience out of it rather than... Um, kind of spreading things around, right? So... We do that. Hopefully, we can get a little more strength going on with our guy, right? Let's go ahead and sleep now that we can. And we're going to spend the rest of our time here running down to grab stuff. Stairs are here, remember. Okay. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to not run now. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk a little bit. So we can go ahead and just close that. All right, ready? Let's go. Let's just check this wall real quick. I just want to make sure it's secure. It is. All right. Because remember, we had a. Huge group of zombies up there. That, uh... 
Oh, for once we don't have zombies knocking at our door. Good. Okay. What do we got here, first of all? Baseball bat. Oh, I'll take it. We also have empty gas cans, which I'm not going to worry about right now. And let's go ahead and detach the trailer. Nothing I want. Bat grouping. The missed stuff I'll go ahead and throw into my backpack here. All right. Got a little paint tank. All right. Yep. I figured I'd be overweight here. Um, the climb chance is hella reduced, but I think I can still do it, especially since we're safe here. I might just fumble once or twice. Fuck, he's doing it. Good for him. Good for him. Alright, let's get back upstairs quick before we lose too much health. I think our guy's doing surprisingly well, all things considered. Oh, we just leveled up sprinting because I've been holding shift down while moving. That's, that's great. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do place item. I'm going to place this propane tank here. That'll get rid of that stuff for us. All right, scamper over here, and we'll go ahead and put in all of our other stuff. So baseball bat, can't fit there, we'll put it into there. Uh, the lug wrench we'll also put into there. And then we have our planks, our nail box right here. Okay, I don't know why I have this empty gas can. I probably did not mean to take this. So that was bad. Alright, next we have our miscellaneous stuff. Mm, I might as well put those bare engine parts in there. Uh, metal pipes are technically weapons, so we're putting them in this one. And the metal sheets go into here. There we go. Back to our miscellaneous stuff, so I can throw that stuff in there. And I think everything else I'm keeping on me for now. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll go put this gas can back down where it belongs. Also, go ahead and pick up this gas can while we're at it. I'll take that down. You don't need to have a, a bunch of worthless gas cans right in there. Get it again, guys. I need to, like, block off that area so I, I don't, like, run down there like, the very first spot, right? Okay. Over we go. Wouldn't have been some crazy shit if a zombie would have been waiting there for me. Like the one time that I leave open this door and they just decided to come in and lunch my legs or some shit, right? Good. Okay. Um... You know, I actually don't really like the red car. I'm going to be completely honest. It kind of sucks. Also, I think if I remember correctly, in the van, we had dumped some stuff in the side seat, didn't we? Did we not? Huh. I thought we did. Well, anyway, I'm going to grab this stuff out of the glove box. That way I can just drop it on the fucking ground. Because we don't need none of it. Clogging up uh, inventory space, basically. Okay. Let's fill up as many gas cans as we can in our thing here. Hoping for more, to be honest. No. Equip secondary. Okay, yep, that's not going to help us very much. <laughs> Maybe I should build like a, a box down here. Yeah, fuck.
Maybe I should build a box down there that has some, uh, like, storage capacity for certain things, like gas, for example. I don't necessarily need to have all of this gas all the time, right? Up here, specifically, because it could be used for vehicles and stuff, too. Uh, but the main thing we would want is uh, some sort of storage space. You know? Alright, I'm gonna come over here. Go ahead and place the gas right there. Excellent. We can place this one as well next to it. Boop. And then the rest of it as well we'll go ahead and place along here. Holy crap, it took so long to do that. Okay. That's placed, then we can go ahead and place this um, gun case just fucking on top of the rest of them. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't need that stuff. Alright, cool. So, we have, uh, as you can see, just a bunch of gun cases with guns on them. Nice. Alright, let's take a look. Actually, you know what? Let me get one of these gas cans. Now, let's go ahead and. Can I use the V menu to. Do I have to turn the generator off to, to fill it? Looks like I do. That's fair, I guess. Okay. Then we go ahead and place it back. Boop. Then we can turn this back on, and it should be completely filled now if we look at the generator info. Yep, we can go for 23 days on one full tank of gas. Smacks top a generator. This bad boy can fit such and such. Ugh, all right. Pretty good. So, at this particular moment in time, let's go ahead and just uh, wash ourselves. Okay. Go ahead and fill our water bottle. And, uh, yeah. We now have the capability to use our refrigerator to store food pretty much indefinitely if we think about it so uh that's that's great all right so what do i need for a uh, wooden crate i need three three i thought it was two hmm, that's unfortunate anyway let's go to our wood crate oh i have exactly three interesting one two three okay so now i can make another crate which we'll go ahead and go downstairs to make. Right after we eat something quick. I'm just gonna eat these beans. Cool. And then down to our thing here. Boop. Um, actually, while I'm out and about, I should have these sacks. And then if we go to our loot container here, do I have a shovel? I do. That to me. And also, uh, give me a trowel. I'm not sure which I need exactly. But I should be able to, I think I've seen someone do this, fill up sacks with dirt, which we'll get from outside. And we can transport them to the top and start growing food on them. Oh, I forgot I put a bunch of nails there. Uh -huh. Okay. So right next to the stairs, I think we'll go ahead and put this wooden crate. Excellent. So we can go ahead and just store anything we really need in there. Before we go out and open this door, let's get my metal pipe ready. Never know when there might be zombies around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the uh, gas cans here. I'm just going to take them all. Fuck it, let's go. We're going to die, baby. And I'm just going to put them all into the crate. Well, as many of them as we can, because I think that's going to be too much, to be honest. Or maybe just enough. No, I think we're going to be one extra. Yeah. Well, I can go ahead and place this on top, then. 
There we go. Cool. Now all of our gas is safely located in that chest. So let's go and gather. Uh, take some dirt. Well, the travel does work, so I kind of wasted my time grabbing the... Uh, sack hold. Or apparently. I'm just gonna throw this one in my backpack. Well, never mind, let's keep going until I fill both, I guess. And that's the third one. Great. Okay, you know what? Put those away. Excellent! We have all of our dirt we need right now. Go ahead and throw that into there. And equip our metal bar again. Okay. Let's get back upstairs and we can start planting. I haven't seen it rain for a while, but then again, we haven't necessarily been outside for very long, right? We've mainly been uh, in the building doing stuff, right? <laughs> All right, and we're back. Excellent. Um, I just wanted to check some stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and go up to the roof where we'll start planting our farm. We're going to do it just in this general area. So we're going to pour out dirt here. Okay, so it looks like it does go one-to-one, -one, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, messing anything up here. We'll just slowly but surely get down our, our burden here. Oops. Fuck that up. One, two, three, four... And then we have one more bag, so one, two, three, four, I guess. I didn't want to put it against the railing, but I will. Just to make things have some mesh. Oh, that's only three. Shit. Well. We can always go back down and get more. But it's not like we have this many seeds, right? So it's uh, it's fine. Go ahead and dig some furrows. Water is left in here. About halfway, but it's all tainted. I can't really do much with it. This one's still full, which is great. But uh fortunately I can't really 
too much. Um, like that. So hold on, I'm gonna... <clears throat> hold on a second, I'm gonna put away my trowel and stuff. Put primary. Trowel, you go away. Shovel, you go away. Watering can, I'm gonna take you. Now that I think I'm gonna need it, or I'm gonna use it, I don't know, we'll, we'll determine what we're gonna do when we get up there. Grab all the seeds we have. Throw these sacks in there. Not, not there, actually. In the uh, proper place where they need to go. Here. How many spare garbage bags do I got? Twelve. Yeah, I can make a bunch more water collectors. I think the ideal place would be kind of in that area, and then like one down here for this sink actually works. Or I could just move that sink up to there, but I could potentially also break that one, so I don't know. Um... Open up a can of beans. Eat all. Okay. Let's go to bed since we are a little bit tired. Empty can tank right there. Alright, I have worms too. Um I'm just gonna throw them in here. I know I can use fishing for it, but too much pain to sleep, really. Really? We're in too much pain, huh? Huh? We're in too much pain? Well, guess what? We're about to be in some more pain. A world of pain, some might say. I still can't sleep. Okay, that's fair. Let's go get some sleeping tablets then. <laughs> sleeping tablets. Take some pills. Here we go. All right. So how is our strength coming along? Well, surely it's getting there. We need a couple more days and stuff, but get there eventually. Oop. Actually, hmm. I was going to say we should read our farming book, but we don't have to read that until we uh, start gathering the stuff. Planting doesn't count for farming experience. I just remembered. All right. Let's get out here and we'll plant these seeds. That way they can start growing, hopefully. We can also fill up the uh, watering can here. Oh my god. I didn't fill all the way. So much. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're fine. I can't open them all at the same time. Open. 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 I guess we only have three crops, so three rows is fine. I get I might just put them back in the packet. <laughs> Those seeds. Cabbages. Cabbages were a, a really good uh, food for us back in our last playthrough. They uh, they do a lot of hunger and thirst, so it's really nice to have them like that, right? Okay. That's all the tomato we can... Or not tomato, the cabbages we can plant. Let's do radishes next. We can do tomatoes on the other side. Should have put tomatoes at the top because tomatoes are longer. But, you know. Unfortunately, radishes are kind of bad when it comes to uh, sustaining food. But the thing is, uh, they're better than nothing, right? I'm sure we have all this canned food, but at some point that's going to run out for us, right? This way we're sustainable. You know, we don't even have to take over the hospital right now. We're fully sustainable. We have water from our water collectors that can be easily drank. We have our tomato seeds and our cabbages and everything growing up here. Once our first harvest comes in, we're pretty much, you know, perfect. I guess I'm just going to plant the rest of these where I can. No sense wasting uh, territory. All right. Let's do 10 at a time here. Pro 
problem is I don't have much water. So I, uh, I want to do what I can with what I have here. We're going to get at least three of these up to that, and then we're going to do one tomato plant with the rest of the water we have. Oh, I was just using bottled water for it now. Well, might as well. Here we go. All right. The watering can, I'll go ahead and place it right here, just so it's up here whenever we need it. It would be nice if I had another uh, storage container that I could put up there, but sadly, yeah, we don't seem to have uh, enough stuff to do that. What we could take a look at real quick, though, go ahead and fill that empty bottle. If I grab my propane torch and welder's mask, and I go to metalworking containers, um, do I need welding rods for those? Do I need welding rods for everything? I do. Shit, that sucks. I was gonna make a metal crate up there. Oh, well, I guess I can't anyway, since I need a metalworking four to begin with. I could put some shelves up there, though. <laughs> everything else, I think, requires higher metalwork. Yeah. Unfortunate. Well, we can start working towards that, but that's that's fine. Let's just go ahead and put this stuff back for now. And then the metal container. We can also put our seeds. All right, well, I think it, that's going to wrap it up for us here this episode, everybody. Um, Now that we have sustained food and everything, I think our next objective should be to, first of all, I think right into this journal, because I think we leveled up sprinting. That'd be good to have in there. Okay. Um, so I think our first objective next time, we can try to start clearing out the hospital. I think that'll be a, a good idea for us to do. We can go there and take a look, uh, grab some more pipes and stuff. We can at least, you know, sense it out, you know, throw out some feels and see how that goes. So until then, bye for now. Meh.